Welcome to the EC Council Certified Security Analyst Licensed Penetration Tester Training. This course is designed as a follow-on to Certified Ethical Hacker to help prepare you for the Licensed Penetration Tester Certification. What we'll do is we'll expand on some tools you already have by getting into some advanced Googling, some advanced sniffing, some advanced wireless testing, and some advanced vulnerability analysis. We'll also go over the methodologies that are involved in a penetration test, looking at each of the phases that are involved, as well as the legal requirements. Once you've completed both Certified Ethical Hacker and ECSA, you can apply to take the Licensed Penetration Tester Certification Test. In order to take this test, visit ECCouncil.org Certification LPT. The lab sessions are designed to reinforce what we've been speaking of and are not necessarily designed for proficiency. They're mainly designed as proof of concept. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. For advanced penetration testing and security analysis, module one, we need to take a look at the need for security analysis. What we'll do is we'll look at why are we so concerned about security these days. We'll look at why is it so easy for someone to penetrate our environment. We'll look at threat agent, agents, some assessment questions, and how to mitigate our risks. We'll also look at some of the laws that have been introduced to help us deal with or guidelines for security. When we talk about security, we're concerned about very specific factors. For example, theft, fraud or forgery, unauthorized information access, and interception or modification of data. When you're trying to protect your environment, first you need to be clear on what is your protected company asset. You need to be aware of the assets yourself, you need to be aware of the network infrastructure, the availability of your network, and then also confidential personal data. Intrusions are often successful because we have poor detection, response, and escalation techniques. There are no formal policies or non-existent procedures for active auditing and or event management. Many companies have limited use of authentication and or authorization systems, and many times there's an ignorance of logical or organizational boundaries within the network infrastructure.